How you going? Wake up. As you can see, hedgehog cage is very dirty. It's definitely time for a bath. Today we're going to make a video on how to give a hedgehog a bath. If you're like me and like to follow easy instructions, here's four easy steps on how to give a hedgehog a bath. Step one, boil some water. Because you're going to want to eat something after all this hard work you're about to do. So if you have a hedgehog that's kind of shy, you might have a little trouble getting used to the water and they're probably going to be scared of it. So what I like to do is give them some toys to feel like they're really at home. There. Good dog. I think it's really working. She really likes her toy. The next step is to find something that you can clean the hedgehog with, like a brush or a toothbrush. I like to use my roommate's when she's not looking. Alright, it's time to fill up the tub. Now, if you don't want a messy bathtub, you're probably going to want to get all the little shavings you have off these little creatures, little wood chips or whatever you put in the cage. If you don't want to use your bathtub, you can always use a sink. Give the little guy a little bit to get used to the water. Make sure it's not too hot, too cold. Probably not going to like it either way. Another thing I like to do is if it's really scared, you might want to play some music just to calm it down a bit. Now, if the water's too deep for the hedgehog, make sure it's not going above their head. They might start going down to the lower end where it's collected more. So just keep an eye on the animal, make sure it's not drowning. Once you've rinsed off the hedgehog a little bit, Next step is to clean it with some shampoo. Usually baby shampoo is recommended. And since it is a tiny creature, you're only going to want to use it a little bit. The bristles probably are what need to be cleaned the most, but also make sure you get their underbelly a little bit. After washing them, next step is going to be to rinse them off. Make sure you get all the soap off of them so they don't become itchy later. If you're cleaning out their cage while they're waiting, you can put some food and water in there just so they don't die while you're gone. The next step is obviously to dry them off with the towel real good. I like to hide in them. I see you. And the final step is let them air dry outside. Only if it's summertime, of course.
Why does my toothbrush taste so weird?